Welcome back to North Dakota Today. A lot of different factors can contribute to a sketchy foundation and it can end up costing you a lot of money in the end. So here to tell us more about foundation settlement and how it can be fixed is system design specialist Jason Krejci. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks today. for having me again. We just joked in the break, you do know your entertainment news as well. We're talking a little bit Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, but Really, we want to talk about foundations because that's <laughs> where you're the expert today. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so I guess let's just start with what are some of the common signs for foundation settlement? Common signs that you're going to see if your foundation is settling is, you know, your floors might be a little bit out of level, noticing you're walking uphill throughout the house, mm -hmm. doors and windows sticking throughout the house, and then, you know, sheetrock cracks, not just your minor hairline cracks that you can see throughout there, but cracks are getting wider. Um, even if you have a brick fascia on the front of the house, that can start to get cracks mm -hmm. in it as well. Well. And what causes a foundation to settle? Well, Abby, there's three reasons why a foundation settles in the first place. Um, can be a likelihood of either three of them, but typically it comes down to poorly compacted fill soil, whether the soil underneath your foundation got too wet and just turned into a clay bog, or you know extreme dry out conditions or drought conditions. Those are the three reasons why a foundation will start to settle. How do you know when you can you know, ignore it or get it fixed, or probably you should never ignore it, but I feel like sometimes we're like, oh, it's just some settling in new homes, it's okay. Yep, so every house is gonna shift around every once in a while throughout the years just because of the climate that we live in. But if you're noticing things, you know, one year it's one way and the next year it's opened up a little bit more, or, you know, the signs are just continuing to get worse. You know, things like this, they don't get better over time, they just continue to get worse. And how can Innovative help? With this so what we do is we come out and do free valuations, um, take a look and see exactly what's going on, figure out exactly if you have settlement, where it starts, where it stops. We all do all this with laser levels, making sure, you know, it's not just us coming out and using our opinion. We have tools to help us diagnose exactly what's going on with the house. So I would also imagine that maybe having someone look at this earlier rather than later is better too. Can you prevent damage by getting an early fix? Yes. Um, the longer things go on, whether it's your car or your house, the longer you let something you know continue to be run down, the worse and worse and worse it gets. So if you're on the leading edge of this and can catch it at an earlier stage, it can save you a lot of money. Give us a worst case scenario if you just ignore it, because like I said, I sometimes, you know, you use the car <laughs> example, that check engine light comes on, you just drive for a month. <laughs> you think you can make it just a little, little bit, bit longer. Yeah, right? so I've seen houses where, you know, they thought the foundation was okay and, you know, it, it's not something that just drops out and you're all of a sudden you're seeing two inches of settlement right away. It's something that progressively happens over the years. The worst one I've seen is actually the house was eight inches out of level. Wow. Oh my gosh. So you really feel like you're walking uphill in that house. <laughs> and a harder fix than at that point. Yes. Yes, a lot harder fix. So. But still fixable? Still fixable. Where, how, how do you guys, I mean... So what we do is we actually install what we call piers. So we actually drive steel pylons down alongside the foundation and attach a bracket underneath the footing and actually take that soil completely out of the equation and we drive our piers down to what we call load-bearing strata till. Typically here in the Red River Valley, we're seeing depths anywhere of 90 feet to 100 oh feet deep to you know find soil that's capable of carrying that house so you never have to worry about that issue again. Okay. Well then, once again, tell us, uh, how do people get a hold of you? You have the free, uh, you know, consultation. Yep. What, if people are wondering if they should give you a call, what would you tell them? 701-365-0097 or InnovativeOnTV.com. It's just worth having someone come and take a look, and maybe it's okay. Yep. Better late than never. Better late than never. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Stay with us. Coming up next, we're going to be making a super fun lunch and covering Ooh. all the food groups.